Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we are going to create this beautiful, glamorous and sultry makeup look. Now I know that a smoky eye can be a bit more intimidating but trust me guys this is going to be very easy and quick for you because I have broken down this tutorial in simple and easy steps. Now I have paired this look with a nude lipstick. If you want you can pair it with any brighter or puffy shade. Now this is a very versatile look. It can be worn for a dinner date or a wedding function or any party. So if you want to learn how to make this look Please do watch till the end. So guys, I post new videos on every Tuesdays and Saturdays and I have some amazing makeup tutorials and fashion content coming up. So if you don't want to miss on my content, please do subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon so that you are the first one to get notified when I upload a new video. Now, without any further chit chatting, let's dive into the video. First step is to moisturize your face. Today I have used this Blossom Culture Aromas Magic Vitamin C Skin Lightening Gel. This is again a very gel based thin moisturizer which gets absorbed very quickly into your skin. I have already moisturized. Uh, the, sec the second step is I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer all over my eyes. Now today I'm going to start doing with my eye makeup first because uh, since we are going to play with the black there are going to be fallouts. I will just apply this all over my eyelids. For blending, I'm using this packed beauty blender. This is a small beauty blender. It becomes easier to use it around your eyes. It reaches to the uh, small areas of your eyes very really easily. So I'm just going to blend this very well. Fit Me Compact Powder to set my eye, uh, set my foundation. I'm just going to, I'm using a fluffy brush to do that. I'm just going to take a little bit and I'm going to pat it so that my foundation is sealed and no creases are formed when I'm, no creases are formed on my eyelids. gel eyeliner I'm going to use this over my lips I'm going to take very little uh, so the key to any uh, smoky eye is blending and for blending if you take little bit product at a time it becomes easier to blend and since this is a very uh, this product sets very easily it's very important for you to take little bit at a time and then as and when you need more intensity you can add more product so I'm going to take the camera close to my eyes so that you can see what exactly I'm doing. So now I've applied this gel eyeliner and I'm going to blend this only in the center of my crease. I'm not going to take it very much in the outer corner nor in the inner corner. I'm just going to blend it over here. For blending I'm using this pencil brush. It becomes easier to blend. I have evened out the uh, kajal we had applied and uh, I have blended it very uh, well. So now I am going to take a black eyeshadow and I am going to blend it to the outer and inner corners of my eyes. I am taking a black eyeshadow and like, taking very little of it and I am just going to blend it to the outer and inner corner of my eyes. This is 
is blended very well. Now I'm taking a blending brush and I'm going to take a darker shade of brown. I'm taking this shade of brown and I'm going to blend it over my crease so that this black harsh line is softened by using that uh, using this shade. brown which is lighter than the previous one I'm taking this one and I'm going to apply it over my crease I'm going to take a fluffy brush this is a blending brush it's fluffy and I'm going to take this brown lighter shade, very little of it, very little of it. I'm just going to blend it all over so that there are no harsh lines of any uh, eyeshadow that we have used, and everything is blended in very well. So this is how it looks. Now I'll complete this eye, and I'll get back. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to use the same brown shade I had used over my crease. I'm using this shade. I'm going to mix this and the black one to cover my uh, lower lash line. liquid eyeliner I'm just going to apply a very uh, thin line because I do not want the eyeliner to be very uh, intense over here so I'm just going to apply done with our eye makeup now we'll get on to the base for my foundation I'm using this Nykaa foundation I'm in the shade light peach now I'm going to spread a little bit of foundation all over my face now, I'm using this beauty blender this again is uh, from Nykaa and I'm going to blend this evenly all over my face now uh, while blending always remember that you know you need not need to drag the foundation setting my foundation I'm using this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Coalesce Compact. I'm going to use this to set my foundation. Palette from BH Cosmetics. So you know that how much I love this pencil. It comes with a spoon, so it becomes very easy to apply. Now again, I'm just going to fill in my brow. Now for my highlight. 
highlighter i'm using this highlighting palette from makeup revolution i'm going to use this shade i'm going to mix this and this basically because uh, i want a little bit of golden tint for this look Basically, uh, this makeup look is very versatile. You can play around with this look in many different ways. Now, one way is you can apply a little bit of glitter on your lids over here, or you can uh, apply a little bit of golden eyeshadow as well. Now, uh, next with the lips, I'm today I'm going with a nude lip color because uh, I do not want a very poppy shade on my lips. I want to keep my attention to the eyes. If you uh, if you want a very uh, sultry party look, you can go for a pop lip color. You can go for a red or a pink. Or uh, if you're going for a wedding or, or if you're going for a function, you can basically go for uh, a dark lip color as well. Uh, today I'm going with this shade from Nykaa. This is uh, this is in the shade 23 Janvi. Uh, it's one of the best nude lipsticks I have come across. I love this shade. So today I'm... So this is it. This is the final look. Now I'll uh, get my hair done and I'll get back. So this is the finished look you guys. If you like this video and if you found this tutorial helpful, please do subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram. I'm going to link it in the description box. Until we meet for the next time, stay happy, stay safe and be beautiful.